playoff drivers who struggled at Texas Motor Speedway, Mark Trex Jr., Tyler Reddick, Ryan Blaney, and early on, Kyle Busch even got into the wall, ended up in 34. Jeff, let's start off talking about Martin Truex Jr. because it was a weird situation for him. Uh, Really never showed a lot of speed throughout the race, but got caught up in an incident where he was just slowing down for the caution. Yeah, you know, some were slowing down and others weren't. And uh, he got caught up in it. You see right here, the caution has come out and, you know, sent Truex for a ride. Now you can see the car sliding and now it cuts the tires, uh, flat spots tires, they blow out. Now the splitter's on the ground. And so... You know, I I know they said they didn't think the splitter was damaged very badly, uh, but I, I, I can't say for sure that it's not. As best, see, you can see it dragging. Everything's dragging underneath the car. Uh, so I'm not sure damage wasn't done and that hurt their pace. But the last month has not been good at all for Martin Truex and this team. Uh, you know, they, they with a huge point advantage going into the playoffs, uh, they barely squeaked through to get into this round. And now right off the bat, here they are in trouble again with Talladega and the Roval looming. So uh, they're still good, still 19 points to the good, but uh, they gave up a considerable amount of points. Had fortune, though, because the mothers had problems, too. Well, one of those drivers who had problems, but I actually think had the speed that Truex was lacking, was the 45 of Tyler Reddick. You know, he didn't have a great start to the race, but they strategied their way to the front. And he was in a really good position, and I love the pit strategy. And he actually got caught on a green flag cycle in the middle of stage two. That's where he lost his track position. That would have been okay, though. He was slowly recovering. He was going to finish somewhere inside the top 20 until this accident here. And when I look at Tyler Reddick, this is the maturity we're looking for out of the 45. This is the corner I think they need to turn. You know, it's a bad break. When a caution comes out after you pin under green, you cannot look at it any other way. But don't press so hard that you press into a mistake. Um, And that right there, while odd looking, there's no other way to say it other than just a mistake. Driver getting too high off turn four, making contact with the wall. Unfortunately, that wreck also caught Blaney, who had a recovery from a dismal day. They strategy their way up to the front, doing a great job, and then speeding on pit road puts them in the back. And then, Rick, um, once you get in the back, things like this occur. It's kind of your own fault for being back there. And what about Kyle Busch, Jeff? He had radioed into his team. He thought that he might have a tire going down. We saw him get high up on the racetrack. But then it almost looked like it just snapped loose entering turn one. He was very confused about the wreck. You know, he was talking about having a right front problem. Like, I feel like I got something wrong with my right front. And he kept missing the groove. And finally, he just said, okay, I'm going to run the bottom. I'm going to finish this stage out, try to get a point or two. And then the back end of the car comes around. Well, if the right front's down, you wouldn't think the back end would come around. You would think that the car just wouldn't turn. So he was extremely confused about this, uh, frustrated about it, obviously. Uh, but, you know, regardless of what and, – and questioning himself. And this is, this is the quest for points, right? Had, had there not been a stage – he would have pitted. He would have said, I got a problem. I'm coming to you. But those points are sitting out there. And it wasn't far from the stage. It was only five laps or so before the stage was ending when this happened. He kept trying to run to get those stage points. Ultimately, and whatever was wrong with that car, it ended up biting him. Well, now at 17 below, Kyle Busch might be the most dangerous guy going to Talladega because he might go there thinking, well, I better score a lot of points and be the aggressor. I, if I was Randall Burdett, that's what I'd be selling. I'd be like, look, we can't go back and redo that one. All we can do is go here. Now, look, an early wreck and a bunch of contenders in it. I might change my approach. But until that happens, we are going to be the ones on the whip. We are not going to be on the reins. We are going to be pushing, 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 pushing the other contenders into uncomfortable situations to end both stages. You win two stages and make 20 points. Just like that, you're maybe back right up on the cut line. So I think Kyle Busch's bad luck from Texas, the only way to recover is to be the aggressor heading to Talladega. Bottom three in points right now, Reddick, Blaney, and Busch. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Motormouth, presented by Toyota. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.